fucking kid. Whee! I haven't even started a day yet. I need to go and take that box over to that charity shop over there because I need the space and hopefully they'll take it. Some good bits in there. We've got like brand new slippers and Infit Ada, with vintage board games, dog jackets, just loads of stuff. Hello? Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. As long as much as it looks. Hello. Take what you want and I'll take the rest back. Oh. If you want anything, keep it. If not, I'll take it to a local shop. But um, I can scrap anything you don't want. I keep tempted to pick these up, but I'll never wear them. I don't like them that much. It's a nice looking shirt, H&F. Up. Is that the one the guy wants? Is that the one he wants? I think it is. I think it is. Nah, I've just looked. It's the freelance 100 he wants. Thing is, I'm in two minds whether to pick it up because the freelance 100 and the freelance 200 I think were released at the same time. So I wonder if that's any good for him. For a tenner, I might risk it. I'm not sure. Let me check the condition of it. Oh, it's, it's brand new. We're going to have to get it, aren't we? Yeah. Brand new would be stupid not to. These have been here for a few days as well. I saw them the other day and left them. BT120 is brand new as well. Let me just comp that quickly. I don't think there's much in it, but if I'm getting one, I might as well get the other as well. Averages it down then, doesn't it? Oh, my God. Just look down here. There's more, look. Response 500. Oh God, this is gonna be an expensive day. Yeah, those are all brand new as well. Let me comp the 500. Right, so they're actually gonna be reduced in two days anyway. So I asked if they'd do it early. And they kindly obliged. So it's worth the risk, isn't it? Where's your keyboard? There we go, ready when you are. So the funny thing is, I actually saw these over the last week or so, and they're 10 pound each. So 40 quid, but yellow sticker means they're due to be reduced in two days. So I just asked for it to be earlier and they were like, yeah, they've been sat there for a month for nobody buying them. Might as well get them now. But I genuinely thought, I genuinely thought that was the one the guy wanted, but it might even be, you know, it might even be, he might be happy with the 200. So I think they're like same model, slightly different. I don't know. I'm sure I'll figure it out, but I think 20 quid, five for each and they're brand new in the box. All the internals are still sealed up, plastic wrapped and everything. Can't be bad for a five of each, surely. Surely, and I've let them, and I've sat there. In fact, one of my videos actually pointed the camera at them going, 10 pound, no. Not even thinking they could be brand new. Huh. Worst case scenario is I'm gonna get more than five of each back, and I? I was gonna risk it at a tenner, and I'm glad I asked the question of when they're gonna be reduced, because now risking it at a five, it's practically nothing. Well, I need to get to the unit now and do some fucking work. <laughs> I'm taking all my boot bags in there because I need to be able to fill them all up to bring stuff back out. Excuse me. Oh, I fucked it. Lost control. It's hard with one hand, you need two hands to keep it steady. As always, today's job is to do the necessary postage and then start filling up some of these bags. Another day. So I'm gonna address something quickly first. Some of you might be wondering, was my video aimed at John Shepard? And it wasn't, he released his video after mine. So I either inspired it or it was just weird timing, but I'm glad I released mine first so I didn't get myself caught up in all that drama. I've got no hate for the guy, I'm just not involved. Even though he did mention me, but he wasn't a cock, so that was nice. Cheers, John. 
As always at the minute, I'm gonna catch up on yesterday's packaging, the stuff that I didn't need to do yesterday, but now I do. I'm pushing everything until the last minute, if that makes sense at the minute. So I won't bore you with these because you've already seen them. Can we just talk about something for a second? Those phones, when I was in there, I was like, I genuinely believe I have just completed somebody's 10 year long mission of trying to find an item. Messaging all the eBay accounts over the last five years alone. And I was thinking, I've just nailed it. I've just completed the task. But I don't know if I have or not, I don't think so. But I'm still gonna reach out to him and see if it's something he's interested in. Regardless, how cool are them phones to find new? Especially the freelance ones, the original 90s hands-free. I don't really care about the other ones, response where they are, but still, very, very cool to find. I am gonna reach out to the guy and see if he wants them. But I'm gonna do some research first on them, of course, because I couldn't really find much about any of them. But a five each, easy money. I have just sent my message to the infamous BT phone collector, so let's see what he comes back with. Hopefully, there's something he's interested in. All right, let's do some work. Oh my God. Let's see if I can try not to forget the parcels this time, eh? And we have an update to the guy he was asking whether something was 16 millimeters or not before he'd purchased it and then purchased it before I could respond, blah, blah, blah. Well, the update is I sent him this and he sent me that. Looks like it's getting sent. I know it's going to arrive and he's going to say, but this is actually 16 mil. That has to be one of the most aggressive things to happen in reselling when you're not quite keeping an eye on your tape and it just stops and runs out automatically, it's like <coughs> The aggression is so real. Right, I think everything you've seen is packed. So everything else now, you haven't seen. So well, let me go and pick the stuff. That camera's wonky. That's a bit better, not by much though. I've actually had a really, really big sale as well, but that doesn't need to go out yet, so I won't show you that today. Right, let's start off with this one first, the Hawker Mirror. Pick this up from a charity shop, I do believe. Hello, Inception. Um, I think it's from a charity shop, I can't quite remember. But this sold for £62.99. Really, really nice sale, that. The Cheney Boots kept sending me offers back and forward. We settled on £25. He said he's going to fix the elastics and he's going to fix the soles. So he would like some room left to do that. And I said, OK, sir, no problem. You the man. Northwestern Series 21 Wedge Punch Face Golf Club. It's got a really kind of punched faced design there. Uh, 15 quid, all in. 15 squidder. VoIP Cyberphone, sold for £9, all in. A weird communication. It's a GSP sale, I think. I'm not sure. Yeah, and he asked me to send to a different address. I said, eh, eh. Would you like me to cancel? And he messaged back and said, that's fine. And for £29.99, the infamous Sportico film rewinder. Let's see how that goes down, shall we? Well, we'll get them packed. So a few of you yesterday, I just saw the addresses, but I swift, so it made me think of it. I put Project Games' thumbnail up here for his YouTube. In fact, I'll do it again now. Uh, a few of you have gone over and subscribed to him, and that means a lot to me. So I can't imagine what it means to Matt. He's a good lad. He's a nerd, a Welsh nerd, but he's a really good lad. And he's actually very knowledgeable. He's starting to put out a few like how-to videos now as well, which are quite cool. They might not be your cup of tea. And he certainly ain't trying to teach anybody how to suck eggs. It's just nice to have. If, if people didn't do how-to videos on YouTube at all for the fear of, well, you're just trying to be a know-it-all and tell people what to do, there wouldn't be any at all. How many times have you gone, how the fuck do I do that? And you've gone to YouTube to find the answer. So uh, I love how-to videos. So Matt, I hope you make more, and I hope more of you go over and subscribe to his channel. Right, I better text Matt and ask him for that tenner for that plug. Sushi place for a bit. Yeah. yeah. Instagram reels too. Just wrapping up the mirror that needs to be gone. And can you notice anything? <laughs> you can almost sense it off with a free pen. That's my favourite silver pen. I'd have been fuming. Get that back. Uh, Packing this mirror a is a pain things. in the ass. Yeah. Okay. Are you black? Uh, no. Korean. Are you Korean? Uh, no. That is the parcels done. I'm just going to take them outside now. 
do the classic man thing where I'll try and take them all in one trip and then completely fuck it up by dropping everything. Well, I think I'm going to load up the trolley with a few more bits to take back to the garage. So I'll get that done now. We're calling it a day at the office now. I've got a few bits to bring back home ready for the shelves and parcels done. I've had an interesting text message that I need to go home and just mull over for a bit. I'm back home now. I don't know what I missed out on the day. I forgot that I was filming again. It always happens. It does happen. But that's just life. I've got the stuff back in the office office garage i'm going to start sorting things out soon i'm going to reach out to that guy and see if any of these he's interested in and then i'm also going to do my own research regardless but i think there's going to be a good little score there regardless even if he takes them or not so i've had something come up that i need to address and i need to get figured out in my head and work out the best option so i'm going to go away and do that now and hopefully this video has been okay i don't actually remember what i did i'm not too sure either way Regardless, I'm going to put it out. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, if you can like the video and interact down below, I'm always happy to respond. And I'll see you in a bit. Take care. Bye.